Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. We're out at a construction site today and I've got the Anzu Raptor with me. We also have the RTK top hat. So we'll go through some pre-flight checks. I'll show you how to do that. We'll set up the N-Trip network for the RTK and then we're gonna do a 2D mapping mission followed by a 3D mapping mission. Power on your remote controller and tap the Air Control app to begin. If you haven't already, create a login for Air Control. You will be sent a confirmation code to your email. Add that code into the space when it asks for it. After creating your login, swipe down on the display screen and connect to an internet connection. This is so that your remote can get the latest Google Maps display of your location. Next, a pre-flight check will ensure your aircraft and pilot are ready to fly. After going through this checklist, the Air Control app will do a risk assessment of your flight mission. This helps ensure mission safety. At the end of the assessment, you will get a risk level score. Higher scores have more risk to the overall mission. Next, it's time to power up the aircraft. Go into your menu settings and tap RTK. Under select RTK service type, here's where we can choose to use an RTK base station or N-Trip network, which we will use today. Select custom network RTK. Enter in your N-Trip network information and click save. The network will connect and now you will have accurate positioning for the mapping mission. Build out your mapping mission. Here, we are creating a 2D mapping mission first, and then we will do a 3D mapping mission. Tap the screen to begin building your mapping area. These points can be modified by holding each point and moving them. Ensure you have your mapping area slightly larger than the area that you would like to map to ensure nothing gets missed. Name and save the mission. Make sure ortho collection is selected. Adjust your parameters to best suit your mission. Tap the waypoint icon to load your saved mapping mission. Press take off and slide to the right to take off. The Raptor will now begin the mission, fly to the start point and begin taking photos. I'm going to speed this up in post so we can get to the processing in DJI Terra. The mission will complete and the drone will come in for a landing. Now let's jump into DJI Terra and get this 2D map processing. Select visible light under mission type for this application. Name the project and locate the files. Select all the files from the mission and DJI Terra will begin importing and generating the 2D map. This process will take some time, so I will speed it up in post as well. After it is finished, you will see reconstruction complete. And here we have a high definition 2D map of the construction site. Next, let's get a 3D map of the construction site. We will build and name the mapping mission just like we did with the 2D map, except this time, oblique collection will be selected. Same process here, set your parameters for the mission and when ready, execute the route. After the mission is complete, the drone will land and we can start processing the 3D map in DJI Terra. When the 3D map is finished processing, it's amazing to see how much detail is captured. The 2D map was very detailed as well, but here with the 3D map, we have a better perspective of objects height. We can then send those models off to headquarters for further analysis. So I hope this video gave you a little bit more insight on the Anzu Raptor and how to use it for 2D and 3D mapping missions. If you have any questions, you can put those in the comments. Also be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Matt, happy flying.